Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisha and I'm back with another video. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. But let's get into the video and see what I have planned. I have tons of errands to do all week. So, and not to mention that it is Valentine's week. So, shout outs to all singles, men and women, and all those who are in love. I hope you guys continue to prosper. First, let me show you guys my kids' chocolates for Valentine's Day. I just wanted y'all to see this real quick because. And I'm going to get them some more stuff, too. It's just, this is what I have now for them. And plus, they're going out to eat this week, too. So, don't come for me like I'm not doing nothing for my babies. <laughs> I put them in the refrigerator somewhere. Okay, y'all. So, these are my kids' chocolates for Valentine's Day. I got them some Reese's Heart-Shaped Candy. My daughter got the Reese's peanut butter cups because she liked me and she loved Reese's. Okay, y'all. So, my son, I bought him the heart shaped Kit Kat chocolate. And he loved Kit Kats. I'm going to vlog our Valentine's festivities or day in a separate video. And it's a Monday. It's 10 a.m. right now. I hope that this week. Is filled with love and just lots of joy because we all deserve it, right? So, guys, I wanted to kind of address my comment that I made in my last video when I said that a mama knows who she raises her son to be and what she raises her son to be like. I didn't mean any harm by that, and I apologize to all who took offense. So, we just now arrived at my appointment over here. Come on, over here. We just now arrived at the building for my appointment. You look pretty. Okay. I don't see nobody at the door. Hi, ma'am. They like this carpet. Look. You want Spider-Man? You want him? You want Miles? Yeah! <laughs> Let's put him on your shirt. There you go, my man. Can I have five? So I'm in the office watching a movie for educational purposes about the safety of placing a car seat in a car and learning something about child safety and car seat safety when installing a car seat in a vehicle and that's something very informational and important for me to know because Soon I'll be driving. I do have a learner's permit and I'll be able to take some of what I learned from this video with me. So I'm happy about that. So I'm very grateful for these car seats that I have and I'm very appreciative and thankful for the people who were able to help me to get them. So we are about to head out to go to the courthouse to handle some business. So this is how I'm looking, guys. I have on like a little, little blazer. And then I have on... So that's what I'm wearing. I have on some really neat leggings with like a floor print. And I feel like that's appropriate for my courthouse. This is what my kids are wearing and my mom is taking me. And one more thing guys, I'm probably just going to record myself going in and coming out because I can't take my phone in with me. So, yeah. So guys, we just came back home. My kids are right here with me. My mom had brought bought my kids some Chick-fil-A that they ate in the car. They ate some fish fries in the car because we had been out so long. 
I took care of what I had to take care of at the court, which I stayed for about an hour to fill out my paperwork. And my mom, guys, she doesn't really like to be vlogged on my channel. I don't know why that's that, but she's um, she's never been that kind of person that like to be on, on video for whatever reason. So, I mean, she takes her pictures here and there in her own social group, but that's just my mom. She doesn't like to be on the video, so... I respect I respect that about her and I respect her privacy but like I said I took care of what I had to take care of the court and then we're back here I feel like a lot of things are about to change for the greater good for my children and myself so I'm prepared and I'm ready for that and I'm just letting God God direct my steps and be the director over my life and I'm honoring myself honoring my kids and doing what I have to do as a mom how I feel about that Double twist, and I really like them. Wash is clean. I use tea tree oil and I use the coconut oil. Okay, guys, so I actually like my wig when it's a little wet. I didn't do anything to my hair, I just applied the Fruits Garnier Hair Serum after I wet my hair, and I kind of like this look better. Okay, y'all, so I honestly feel like the lady from Gilmore Girls when she was, um, what was going on in Gilmore Girls? On that one episode when she came to her daughter's school and she had like on boots and then she had on some shorts and then she had like a card a cardigan on and her name was Lorelai Gilmore. It's an old show. I think it got like canceled or whatever in 2009. I know this is what you wear when you don't have nothing to wear in this laundry day. This is for inside wear and it's raining outside. Okay, guys, so, and that's my laundry basket behind me. I threw a towel over because it looks so messy. But my kids are in here with me right now. We're at my apartment at Nemedy's laundry room, and this is my first time doing laundry here. I don't have a washer and dryer, and usually my mom comes and picks up my laundry for me. <clears throat> but she has something to do today, work or whatever. Her busy schedule consists of, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, y'all, but, um, yeah, let's get started with this laundry. My kids are in here. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay, okay, so she's okay. Yes, yeah, sit down in the chair. It's actually very clean in here, guys. It's like a typical laundry mat, but um, I'm in here right now, about to start my laundry. Um, Y'all gotta forgive me for being out of breath because I did walk down here with a big huge laundry basket the walk was 
it like it wasn't far, but it was it was heavier than expected. So y'all did want my detergent spilled, so I put it in the bag. Okay, so this is the detergent I'm using. I like Arm and Hammer. I got it's nothing but like a small bottle that my detergent smell good. My clothes always go smell good. But I'm gonna go ahead and fit my detergent in and fit my clothes in. Let me know if y'all one of those people that put y'all detergent in a cup and measure it or just use the whole bottle and just put it up in there in the comments. Let me know what kind of washer are you guys. I used to be the second one. I used to be the one who uses the whole bottle and just drizzles, drizzle it over in the washer. But now I like to measure my cup because I have two kids. So. Hey, close that door. So I'm gonna go ahead. This is what my kids doing, y'all. You curious? Are you curious? I'm not gonna pick too much in because this is small. Ryan, what are you doing? So my clothes are filled to the top and it got directions on here. Like I said, this is my first time using it. It says to use cold temperatures for large, larger loads for energy saving purposes. So I'm gonna do that. So it's working now. Um, they have two chairs in here, so I'm going to go sit in one of them because my kids aren't. They're, they haven't sat down since they got in here. You're welcome. Okay, go ahead. to put them in the dryer. Okay, the ponytail, a low ponytail because it's raining outside and this jacket doesn't have a hood to it. But I like the design and wanted to wear this one. So that's, it is what it is. Y'all, they trying to help me. <laughs> Leave my corn alone, sweetheart. Okay, I don't know why it's making that beeping noise, but my clothes are drying right now. But I guess it has to make that beeping noise too dry. I don't know. So if you guys can hear that, that is definitely the dryer. So the moms, we got all the snacks for the kids. So I'm going to go ahead and get them some juice. So my kids got these hood juices that I'm about to open for them. 